Aloha, it's Dr. David Yu, and we're here to talk about what happens if fillers go wrong. So when we go on the internet and search fillers, we often see all the benefits of fillers being placed in the face, the lips, and all the good that it can do. At the same time, we also want to educate about the risks, even if they're rare, but what they could be. And the number one thing that we worry about with fillers is something called ischemia, where if it's placed in a blood vessel or near a blood vessel, it can stop blood flow to that area and cause necrosis. So let's kind of review what can be done in those situations. There are some high risk areas in the face. So there's the nose, which if you were to accidentally put it in the vessel, you can actually cause blindness. So for us, we're extremely careful. We, if we were to do it, we would use this really cool vein finder, okay, so that we can isolate where that vein or artery could be. At the same time, we also want to use the right filler, something very, very thin. And let me show you a picture of an unfortunate case. So in these pictures, you can see what happened. And the filler was accidentally injected into the vessel and the patient had immediate blindness and it's permanent. At the same time, you can see the damage and the necrosis that occurred in the nose as well. So please be careful when you're on Instagram or, or social media, often they'll try to show you all the good things that fillers can do, but we also need to be aware of some of the risks. So the high risk areas are definitely the nose, the area between the eyes, and you can have even necrosis as you get toward the nose and even in the mouth. So it's really important that you pick an experienced provider, that you know that the product that you're receiving is an FDA approved product. Uh, nowadays, there's so many uh, practices and new injectors. Uh, ask them, hey, can I see the filler? Hey, can I see the expiration date? These are all things that good practices will share with their patients. We also want to avoid overfilling. So let's show you another image. So in this photo, you can see that the lips are obviously really, really big, the discoloration, and the number one sign that something is wrong is persistent pain. Now the hard part is when you're getting injected, you often have lidocaine mixed with the product or they put numbing cream. So if you cause that ischemia, you may not feel it until it wears off. So if you're having persistent pain for hours after the injection, that's a red flag. Call the office immediately and there are things that we can do to reverse it. So let's talk about that. So thankfully we have something called hyaluronidase, also known as Hylonex or Vitrace. And if this were to happen, any good injector must have it in their office. It's a reversal agent, it's highly effective. Let me show you how it works. Okay, you look in the photo, that's me. Yeah, I actually put filler under my eye to show people where not to put the filler. And I went ahead and used the hyaluronidase to dissolve it. So I put it under the eye and you can see where it is. And then four hours later, it's dissolved. So fillers are good. And when used correctly in the right area, in an experienced provider's hands, you're gonna be in good shape. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to come by for a free consultation and we look forward to meeting you. Aloha.